more attractive, your calm and steady demeanor sends a powerful message. I'm confident in who I am, and I'm not dependent on constant validation. Instead of dwelling on her silence, focus on becoming the best version of yourself. This is where stoicism truly shies. Marcus Aurelius advises waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one use this time to cultivate your strengths, pursue your passions, and build a life you're proud of. Not only does this help you stay emotionally resilient, but it also makes you naturally more magnetic when a woman sees that you're thriving and confident in your own path. She feels drawn to you in a way that goes beyond surface-level attraction. When you radiate calm confidence, you create an environment where she feels safe to overcome her fears and connect with you. And if she doesn't, you'll still be standing tall. Knowing that your worth isn't defined by anyone else's actions. That, my friend, is the true power of stoicism in relationships as we wrap up this thought. Take a moment to reflect on how this dynamic might be playing out in your own experiences. Have you ever felt frustrated by someone's silence only to later realize it wasn't indifference but vulnerability? How might you approach these situations differently? Now with this insight, share your perspective in the comments below. Your thoughts could inspire someone else who's navigating the same challenge number three misinterpreted signals. One of the biggest reasons women don't reach out even when they like you is because they're unsure about your feelings. Let's break it down. Women, just like men, crave clarity in romantic situations, but if your actions send mixed signals, it creates uncertainty. She starts second-guessing herself. He smiled at me but then didn't follow up. Was I reading too much into it? We had an amazing conversation, but then he seemed distant. Does he like me or, or not? He texted me. But now it feels like he's pulling away. Am I wasting my time? Here's the thing. Women often feel the weight of societal expectations and the fear of coming on too strong. They don't want to appear misinterpret your actions, so if your behavior leaves room for doubt, it's easier for them to retreat into silence than risk rejection or embarrassment. Even if she's really into you, a lack of clear signals from your side can make her hesitate. This is where stoicism can provide a game-changing perspective. Marcus Aurelius once said, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it in relationships. This translates to one key principle. Clarity is the foundation of trust and connection as a man. Your role isn't to play games or send cryptic signals. It's to communicate your intentions clearly and confidently. This doesn't mean being overly aggressive or laying everything on the table at once. It means removing ambiguity, so she doesn't have to guess how you feel. For instance, instead of hinting at wanting to see her again, say something like, I really enjoyed talking with you. Let's grab coffee this weekend. What do you think the straightforward approach not only shows confidence, but also sets you apart from the countless men who rely on vague hints and mixed messages. Some men hesitate to be direct because they fear rejection or think it makes them vulnerable. But here's the truth. Being clear about your intentions doesn't make you weak. It makes you stand out. Women respect men who know what they want and aren't afraid to express it. That said, stoicism teaches us to balance action with patience while clarity is essential. It's equally important not to push too hard if she's unsure about her feelings or needs time to process respect that space. For example, if you've expressed interest and she doesn't respond right away, don't flood her with follow-up messages. If she seems hesitant, don't assume the worst. Her silence might be more about, about her own fears than a lack of interest. Think of clarity as a way to eliminate unnecessary obstacles when you're direct and confident about your feelings. You create an environment where she feels safe to be vulnerable to consider this. If you're sending mixed signals, she has to work twice as hard to figure out where you stand. That mental and emotional effort can push her away. On the other hand, when your intention are clear, you remove that uncertainty and make it easier for her to engage with you even with clarity. There's no guarantee she respond the way you hope. This is where stoicism becomes your greatest alley epic. Titus reminds us, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. If she doesn't reply, don't spiral into self-doubt or frustration. You've, you've done your part by being clear and direct, by staying grounded. You show her and yourself that your worth isn't tied to anyone else's response. 
When you radiate this combination of clarity and calmness, you set yourself apart from the noise of mixed signals and hesitation. And trust me, that's exactly the kind of energy that draws people closer.